Hi, my name is Patricia Fulcrod. Um, I'm the director and producer of a documentary called The Ground Truth, which I made at the beginning of the Iraq War. And I'm holding up uh, my poster so we can put a face to this war. Um, I started this movie because I read a tiny article that said in the very beginning of the invasion, a nurse was putting wounded soldiers in cardboard boxes and using her hair dryer to keep them warm. And I thought, oh my God, if the American people knew this, they would not let us stay in Iraq. But of course we did. And what happened over the next three years is that I became more interested in what happens to soldiers and veterans when they kill people, something we have absolutely no comprehension of. It's not just the wounded, it's not just coming back without a leg. It's coming back with a cliche that we talk about the invisible wounds and the invisible scars of war. But what does that mean? I did an interview with a doctor who said, you understand that we destroy three generations every time we go to war. And I started to notice it. I started to see the pain of children. I watched the veterans that became my friends take hammers and put it through windshields and destroy their relationships and their marriages. I watched them unable to have a job. And all the time, our attitude in America is, if you just stay still long enough, eventually you'll be fine. Eventually you'll recover. And it doesn't happen. And what really became the thesis of my film is that we never see war. We wave goodbye when they go on, on the plane and the tarmac. We wave hello when they come back. And everything in between is not really in the news. It's not really in our culture. And we have no idea what they go through. So when I made the film and it went to Sundance and people started seeing it, I got really tired of the questions. Should we divide Iraq? What should we do? Should we bring them home? What about our killers? And I decided that the real question was, what happens if you drive home and there's a tank on your street? What happens if a guy gets out and shoots your dog and pulls your cable and pulls your television and pulls everything and says, hi, we're here to help. We understand that you have a democracy that is suffering because your last two elections were fraudulent. We understand you have the largest prison population in the world. We understand that 40 million people at that time did not have health insurance. And so I felt that it became more important to put a picture to what war would look like in this country and to create an understanding, a personal understanding of what killing really does to another human being. We still don't get it. I'm not sure where we're going, but I think it's terrific that uh, Code Pink and Jody Evans has created the tribunal because we have yet to be accountable for this war and we're just moving on to the next one. So it's an honor and a privilege to be here. Thank you.